this young lady presented with rear foot pain. We did a baseline x-ray which was pretty unimpressive and from the history we thought we might be dealing with a perineal trauma. There was an, an old rock climbing accident. But actually when we did an MRI we saw some rather subtle changes at the posterior facet of the subtalar joint and a little bit of fluid out the back and so what we wanted to do was a shot of cortisone for both diagnostic and therapeutic purposes to see if we could settle down the worst of the pain and with it being a slightly difficult injection we do this under x-ray guidance to confirm needle placement. A little video coming up. A quick review of the anatomy of the subtalar joint Let's just zoom in a little bit and we'll move that across into the picture. We have our talus, we have our carcaneus and we therefore have the posterior facet of the subtalar joint. The middle and anterior facet somewhat further forward and there's the sinus tarsi there. In terms of synovial membrane, the posterior subtalar joint is one synovial membrane and then the middle and anterior and the talonavicular joint are a second synovial membrane and in fact the calcaneocubal joint are a third synovial membrane. I would not recommend trying to do a posterior subtalar facet injection through the sinus tarsi even though that's an easy injection because it's a separate synovial membrane. Rather go for it directly. Let's show you a slightly better model. Let's just zoom back out. Oh, that's in. Let's come out. So there's our foot size skeleton. Let's move that to one side. Here's my favourite anatomical demonstrator. It's from, from my buddy Ed in the US. So looking at it front side on, here is our anterior middle facet and that big posterior facet, looking at its side on. So obviously this is a left side where the skeleton was a right. Just bring that forward. This is where we want the injection to be in this area here. On the MRI, there was some swelling at the back. Just as an FYI, your Kagus fat pad, sorry, Kagus fat pad is here. This would be where you'd see your true haglands while we're moving around. This is where the Achilles inserts. This is where you'd see the pre-Achilles bursa at this point here. This is where you get calcification into the TA and this is where you get your retrocalcaneal exostosis. But for the purposes of this technique, we want to inject into this spot here, get the needle round about there. So let me just mark up some anatomy. So your ankle bone is about here. We've got a couple of tendons coming round at about this level there. These are the perineal tendons. So when we first saw you looking through your notes, there was a concern that maybe the tendons themselves were a little bit traumatic. Mm -hmm. But when we saw the scan, we found actually it's the back of one of the joints. So let's put some more anatomy in. Sinus tarsi here will often see problems there. Anterior talofibular ligament here will often see problems there. Back of the heel bone here. Underneath of the calc about here, and then at about this level here, we've got what we know as the posterior backwards facet. I don't have to look at what the Latin for facet is. Guys, anybody know what the Latin for facet is? No. Nope. I'll find out. It'll be on with you. Facet. Facet. <laughs> oh, yeah. You come from Blackpool, you're a posture. <laughs> so the joint is in three bits tibby middle bit, anterior bit. Posterior bit, and what the MRI says to you is your posterior bit is a bit cheeky. So, this young lady had a rock climbing accident. Um, how many years ago? 15, 15 years ago. Well, you only look about 30 now, so you did it as a schoolgirl, obviously. And we're going to try and get this posterior facet of the subterranean. Now, what we'll find is a little scratch when we go in with a needle, a little sting, and then as we get to the good bit, you'll probably get a little bit of a ooh, 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 ooh. Then so we'll do a check x ray. And then we'll make sure, because it, we, it's very difficult to do without knowing with the x-ray if the needle's in the right place. Okay. Questions? What can, you, what can you ask me? What can I tell you? I think the chat I spoke to earlier has been through everything. I'm just worried about it hurting. So, so my, my junior registrar's done a better job of explaining things than this. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to have to edit that bit out for the video. Um, Mr. Flanagan. Okay. But to be fair, I taught him, so I, I suppose <laughs> that's sort of. <laughs> Here are our T1 and T2 MRI images. Note there's a slight tailor defect at the back of the talus 
and a little bit of fluid at the back of the talus and the back of the posterior subtalar joint. Okay, so sharp scratch now. Ooh. Sorry, somebody's pulling a face. I'm going to take a flash and just see where we are. Are you coming, Mr. R? I'm coming. Okay, so we're going to be a little higher than where we were. There. Sorry, we're going to come in again. That's better. Okay. Flash again. Let's just really pull good. that foot in there. Down a little. Emma, just pull that foot there for me, Chucky. Okay? Awesome. We're just off the edge of the screen. So you get to watch what we do. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Great. Yeah. <laughs> So, there's our back bit, you can't see this in the video now, but there's our front bit. Uh, it doesn't look bad on it. No, it doesn't look too bad. But the scan, the MRI scan, is much better at showing the freeness. Hi, Phoebe. Bye. Alrighty. Okay, so you get a little bit of pressure now. You okay? Yeah. That's it. Well done. Well done, is that? Oh dear. <laughs> Would you like an I've been brave badge? <laughs> yes, please. I, I thought it was going to be a lot more painful, I have to say. <laughs> well, in fairness, if I'd have done the injection, it would have been. George is better than me. Oh dear. So, main thing today is sitting with your feet on the Okay, fine. Um, if you do a little bit too much today, you're more likely to get a flare of pain for some days after. As in that, pain. That being said, you can get a little bit of pain after these anyway. And a little pain ranges from that's a bit painful to, oh, yeah, that's painful, I can't have to put the foot down. Right. All that spectrum is quite normal after okay, this. So don't be too concerned if it's really quite sore. It's in the joint, it can be quite sore for a couple of days. Right, okay. If it doesn't settle down up to a week, then you need to let us know. Right. Otherwise, fine. So the best thing you can do is stick an ice pack on it. If Okay, fine. And the worst thing you back and see it's time. Yeah. yeah. So we normally say it's two days to two weeks for the steroid to kick in. Okay. And then when we see him in six weeks' time, if he's going to have worn off by then, it will have worn off by then. Right. But what we expect to see is improvement and then that be sustained for a period of time. Okay. Okay, lovely. Thank you very Do much. Do you want to ask anything else before you okay, shoot off?